So as hard as many people may find this to believe, Portia Williams did witchcraft on me while I was in a jail cell when they were trying to murder me before a trial. I was protecting myself from a white male. And so she was one of the first witches who did voodoo on me. The first witches that I recall that did voodoo on me was Tia and Tamara Maori and Portia Williams. And it happened in the same vision and visitation. And she was acting real snooty. I was like, oh, hey, Portia, when she did the witchcraft. And she ignored me. I didn't know about the Satanism yet. I didn't know about the worship of white people. I did not know about the denouncing of Jehovah and Jesus Christ and vowing to worship white people. And to see all them blacks trying to kill me and doing witchcraft on me for protecting myself from a white man, I was blown away. So when I got out and I survived and Jesus Christ was on my side, so they cut the audio and they had black men, they got black men following me, but like I said, Jesus Christ was on my side and I was blown away at all the black people that was trying to help murder me for protecting myself from a white man. Now they cut the audio off after I said a lot about Portia, but the main reason was when I said all the black organizations are fraudulent. From the NAACP, the Black Lives Matter, all of the organizations are fraudulent. And she's over here pretending like she cared about George Floyd and I said that we don't know the type of operations that they pulled on George Floyd to have him outside like that and then for the police to run up and kill him. I know because they're doing it to me. They're all trying to have me outside and then let the police run up and kill me and here she is with a Breonna Taylor mask on. I said, I'm in your city. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. A pregnant black woman that they starved for three years. They tortured my baby that's still alive. Don't know if it's one or two. They lying about the ultrasound. They've been starving us. And they cut out all of that information as well as when I said that the NAACP was false, that the Black Lives Matter movement was false, and that Portia Williams is fraudulent. She's not going to get up there doing witchcraft on me for white people, for protecting myself, and then try to pretend on your platform like you're a black activist. And that's what what they all doing. All the white people that's getting up there pretending to fight for black people, they done killed them folks. They done killed them folks. With black people, they kill people. And then they asking for money. So Portia Williams talking about she set the record straight. No, she's not a real black activist. She worships white people. That is what God was showing me. That's what they said is that they worship white people. And Yandy knows that I'm pregnant too, so I can get to Yandy another time. This is about Portia. So I'll repeat it again. It says, so um, they over here trying to make noise. That is a UPS truck over here beeping. They all involved, everybody involved, trying to sit over here and make distractions and stuff. So let me just go ahead and say, I said, um, they're trying to kill me for protecting myself and didn't want to get on their platforms and act like they black activists. Oh no. Oh no, Father God, please lead me. Pretending like she getting gassed, pretending like she's being arrested. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia with everybody in the city trying to set me up to be killed, pregnant, thinking I'm not gonna make it out alive with my baby or my babies, however many I'm carrying, cause they lying about ultrasounds and everything. I got a lot of feet of movement. So I know it's at least one in there. And the black men is all doing it. All of them in America. All that worshiping white women was really worshiping white witches and devils. That's what that was. And all that trying to want to be like white women and tearing each other down as black women, that is the worship of white women. And it's all really the worship of Satan. She is not a real black activist. And she did witchcraft on me and my baby. And these women is out here getting pregnant, having babies with men, knowing that I'm pregnant. And it's part of blood rituals. Nasty blood rituals that they don't learn from them white women. Because them white women will turn around and torture a black woman pregnancy and then go have a healthy baby. That's what they learning from these white people. You don't do nothing like that to a black woman. And then I said that Kenya called her out. Kenya Moore knows that I'm pregnant as well. I'm not calling Kenya you wicked I'm, I, but what I'm saying is that she knows but this is about Portia Williams and Portia Williams does know that I'm pregnant she did witchcraft on me and my baby and she is not a real black activist and I'm here to confirm what Kenya said not because I'm trying to get no clout but because she is a witch and she is not a black activist 
and Black Lives Matter is not a real black movement. It is a money laundering movement where they do operations to kill black people who they do not want in society.